Hi, Bill, and hello, Sally. Nice to meet you. It's Maggie. Uh, Bill, you just left the clinic, but I thought I would record these exercises for you right now before while they're fresh on my mind. So um, you have them written down, but now I'm going to demonstrate them. The first exercise is the pelvic tilt. With your feet flat on the floor, you first you let yourself slouch and tuck in your tailbone and then you arch your back and lift your chest. Let yourself slouch, tucking in the tailbone, arch your back and lift your chest. And do it nice and easy. I want you to say something out loud now, maybe, good morning, Sally, hello world. Or count one, two, three, and one, two, three. Verbalize, vocalize so that you're using your voice because that assures your body that you're breathing. Breathing is good. Let's do two more. One. Slow and easy. Limber that back up. Two. If that feels good and you want to keep on doing it, just pause the video and keep on doing it. If you're done for now, then stop and then sit back in your chair further. It's, your hips should be all the way back for the next exercise. In this exercise, you pick that nice upright position and then you kick out with one leg and then out with the other leg. When you kick your leg, it makes you want to slouch. Don't. On this one, keep from slouching. Keep that back upright, chest high. Alternate kicking those legs. And breathe. If you're holding your breath, you're wrong. Because this is not an underwater exercise. That's the way. This is directed at those hamstrings right behind your knees. Stretching them out getting them long. So when you bend over, you might be able to reach the floor. When these are attached to your spine, these will keep you limber and keep you from having those spasms. Let's stop there. If it feels great and you want to keep doing them, certainly do them. You can stop the video and do some more. But let's move on to the final one. Take a position kind of in the middle of the chair with your feet flat on the floor. Hold your arms crossed like this, but relaxed at the shoulders. And simply turn your chest one direction and the other direction. This helps direct that twisting motion at your lower back. If you do it when you're walking, it doesn't isolate the motion as much. So having your hips secure in the chair is a really good way to get rotation in your spine. That's it. And you notice that I'm breathing because my I'm able to talk while I move. So I want you to practice either talking and moving or counting while you move or talking to the four walls around you or talking to Sally or whatever it takes. Just keep moving and breathing. Two more. One this way and one this way. Good. It was nice to see you again and I hope you have a great day. I hope you keep moving and I believe you will. Bye Bill. Bye Sally.